Hey guys, Betrayed here, and today we're on Elena's account. So, I did get a comment saying, can you review my account? And it was another player from Punisher's Guild, which, um, here she is. We did a review on his account when he, um, had his uh, Aspen at only a 5-star normal Aspen, but because he did roll that A, and then we did, um... 150 tickets recently on his account so if you want to watch that we actually got pretty lucky he went from 170 million power to what he is right now so that was exciting and then we're like looking over um over arena and we're like oh these are the other players this is your competition basically so we we're looking at all these players uh and then um i stumbled upon this player which is a kind of similar power um, no A tier, but a bunch of B pluses. So yeah, this is a really nice account, and um, I was looking over them. I think I fought them as well. I forgot who won. Maybe Punisher did, but yeah, this player has a bunch more E fives. So yeah, let's get right into the uh, account review. Um, he is almost VIP eight, uh, a little bit far away, but still pretty close. So this is his lineup. He does have what is that seven e5s when we did look at punisher's account he did not have the other e5 he only had these and i'm not sure even sure if carry was there but yeah so um seven e5s on this nova server he's not even level 113 yet or 130 yet he's 113 at vip7 so um obviously a lot of spending early on which is isn't a bad thing um because you get head starts like this uh if you want to go with a more attack based um aspen with a Rui scepter i would probably go with a uh speed attack just because you want to go fast in the in order to be able to um fear them or make them fear i guess since uh, his little CC ability is called Fear, I'm pretty sure. So, with more of an attack setup, it's not really going to work out too great. Uh, if you want to go more attack, I'd probably put... Um, do you have one? Let me see. I feel like a lot of new players should have one. Oh, okay, no. I would put a Melodic Strings on him and then um, give him crit, crit damage no i was like crit crit damage attack that stone on him with the melodic strings and then uh attack uh setups which would look something like this one uh this one this one this one and then just unbending well probably that's probably the better one if your aspen starts dying more if not then you could definitely put um balance strike which should help him deal more damage or heal a little bit more so that's the setup i would use for him you did say you wanted to know uh which uh, artifacts you should put on your tenants so mm, for her honestly she's not doing much for you right now so i would swap this into a uh, attack attack if you can that will definitely boost your aspen up a lot of attack which is kind of what you want right now um and also because you're gonna want to t5 him asap and you know leave your halora v4 for now once you do unlock the uh the void campaign so once you're 130 because you're gonna beat the void campaign so easily with 200 million power or how much power do you have 260 million power with this lineup so um yeah you're definitely gonna beat it so you're going to want T5 Aspen and then work on your other heroes, but uh, you're going to want to put everything on him. So I would put attack attack on her and then you could probably, if you get a higher Augustus magic bar, you could probably put that on her since she is pretty good with Augustus magic blush and she's not going to die easily. You probably want to get this a little bit higher. I'm guessing you don't have a lot of dust yep so um crown is good on him 
You don't have a lot of this material either, so that's understandable. Um, attack, yeah. Okay, so what you want to do, um, she's not a tenant, so it doesn't matter on her. Okay, so you don't want that. You want pure attack. You want a lot of attack on him. You don't really want um, tenants to have HP. That's usually bad. Especially since you already got so much HP here. I don't think it's going to lower your um, power down too much. Yeah, you're still at 260 million. It doesn't matter that much. But out of the two, attack is definitely going to be the way better option uh, on your Aspen. You don't have him, You don't have his stones upgraded either. Uh, I would also do the same. You don't want um, you don't want HP on them. Okay, that looks fine. Onkiri Maru, uh, holy damage attack attack. Uh, I, if you could get an attack attack, that would be great. Again, you want attack on him. You want as much attack as you can on your Aspen. Trust me, you will thank me later. Um, these are good stones probably got them from pretty cheap uh that's fine on him for now just because he's uh just because when it's not upgraded it doesn't give him the little extra buffs but once it does you probably want to swap that over to aspen uh don't know why you have um imprints on ticks i wouldn't have imprints on ticks i'll probably put it more into uh what do you have okay you're done with that i would probably put it into the attack of aspen or whoever you have more what's it called cloud island or celestial island for um i mean i guess you could put it on aspen yeah that's fine since you do have a skin for him as well uh, let's see how much attack he's giving. 93 million, 85 million. Uh, you could put on him then. He seems to be giving you a lot more um, attack. So, I would put the imprints on him and then get him a little bit higher. But, uh, as for artifacts, oh yeah, he yeah, has, that's 18%. 10.5, 14%. Um, yeah, you want to use this instead. Okay, um, let's see how much that gives you now. Um, it's still 93.88, so that gives you a little bit more. But um, as for artifacts, you want to get it whichever artifact can give you the most. So usually that would the most attack. Um, so usually that would be flags, but since you're in kind of a new situation and a weird situation at that, I wouldn't, um, ooh, you got two flag chests. So, um, I would probably try to focus, um, on one of these at a time. So you already got a dark flag, so I'd max the dark flag out after you get all the artifacts that you want over here. So, um, for here, I'd probably get a Melodic Strings. I'm not going to lie. You could alternate between um, Ruby Scepter and Melodic Strings all you want. But, yeah, I'd probably go for the Melodic Strings. Um, Wait, how do you lose attack? You were at... Were you at three point? Um, I'm not sure. Hmm. You still got the same things. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe you're at 3.5. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, because this gives you less attack. And then... Holy damage attack. Yeah. Um, I think I'm tripping. But... Or did I take somebody out of Celestial Island? That's the one thing I could think about. No. Um, I don't know. Maybe I am tripping, but... Uh, let's go back over here. Hmm. How did you lose a lot of power? I'm not sure what I did. Uh. Hmm. 
That's so weird. I'm not sure what I did. Uh, what did I do? Um, did I swap something? Or I don't know. But um, yeah, that's kind of what you want to do. Uh, what does she have? Augustus Magic Ball. Remove that. You probably want to put that uh, on somebody else. Well, you don't have any more tenants, so that's fine for now. I think what I what happened was. Um, we lost power because of me swapping all to attack. We lost like about a million power. It's not too much. It, it won't kill you. Um, once you get this, you'll probably get a lot more power than a million. But um, yeah, that's kind of what you want to do. I would definitely swap out these imprints. Put them more on your tenants. You want to high power this Aspen as much as you can. Definitely a good idea to get a melodic strings on him. He's going to be able to do a lot more damage on a bunch of different places. Your account looks really nice for where it's at right now. 25, that's really good. Uh, you can't really push that much higher, especially pre-void um, campaign, just because you're missing a lot of the materials um, and power from those materials uh, when you T5 them. So, yeah, that's kind of what you want to do. And then, um, kind of want to rush him to T5. And I'm pretty sure you have, you probably have, yeah, you have a lot of these. So, you want to, um, oh, those are not the core ones. Oh, these are. So, you want to get his core. You want to upgrade it as high as you can. And then, you want to use all these sublimation chests on him. So, you want to use all of this on him. Uh, use these or... Uh, I would say use these first and then use these. Mm, well, and then use this one, but that gives you 45k. So you kind of want to use them sparingly. And how much do these give you? 3.6, 4.3. Five thousand. So you want to use them like kind of in a ma mathematical way, and try to upgrade as much as you can for as little as possible, and not have any excess or too much excess. Like for example, if you want to get like seven k, or if you're seven k short, instead of using like a five thousand and a um, three thousand, you could use a um, four thousand and a three thousand. Or if you need 6k instead of using one of these and one of these, you could just use two of these. If that makes sense. But yeah, you're going to have to do some math there. So, uh, yeah. And use these when um, you get more resources. So then you can, uh, what's it called? You can upgrade your flags better. But prioritize, I would say, that melodic string so you can actually do a lot of damage with him. I'm guessing he's not doing a lot of damage. You're still clearing them, but I'm guessing he's not doing as much damage as he could be doing. So, yeah, that kind of sucks, but that's an easy fix if you do end up um, getting on melodic strings. That's one of the biggest things that I think you could do for this account. But, yeah, it's a really nice account. You're obviously on the right path. Uh, probably by watching... Um, guides or something like that i would assume because you obviously know that tenants are good and that you should build them and then that uh aspen is a really good hero and then you got uh good copies for his tenants before you got for any other hero so yeah that's what i would do i would take the imprints off of ticks honestly he's not gonna do much for you especially not this early on he is good but i'll just put like um this is fine on him, and then the uh, energy is fine on him as well. He will kind of be a sacrifice hero, so then he could give off his little ghost thingy. His ghost, uh, I think it's a mark. And, you know, uh, usually the higher or the stronger hero on the enemy team, even if it's like a, even if it's like a PvE, they're going to get the little ghost thingy and it's going to give them a bunch of debuffs and do damage to them. So you kind of want him dead. And even if he doesn't die, you still have ticks. So 
the imprints I feel like aren't really that good on him and could be used better on Machman or an Aspen or I wouldn't I wouldn't go further into him just because he's already uh, pretty far so yeah that's what I would do and then after that I guess you're just trying to get more artifacts and all that type of stuff as to build heroes um honestly I would start building your Elena up you're not really that close. You could always swap Carrie for Elena, so I'm not gonna suggest building her. Um, what could you do? Probably build up that Ignis. She will really be really good in uh, many different places. But if you don't want to do that, since you only really need her nine stars for now, um, what other hero could we build? that would benefit you um let's take a look at seal lands because you want to have at least 20 on all of them which you do probably just because you have a lot of terrain i've seen a lot of people do it it's really funny when uh, 10 stars are able to clear it that fast but hmm what could we, what could we build we could probably finish off this vulcan honestly uh, you probably use them just for seal land though. Um, who could you build? I mean, if you could get Rogan copies, that would be pretty good. You could build a Rogan here. Um, the Ignis, I guess. Uh, no need for Elamac as a normal hero. Here, um, I mean, you don't really need heroes that bad. I would honestly just try to um, focus on whoever you want to build next. So whoever your other transcendence hero, your other homeowner transcendence hero is going to be, I would probably start building their tenants. So if you want something like, um, once you get, after you get Elena, you want to start thinking about who you're going to build next. So that could be like, um, who would go good with her, with um, Aspen? Usually I do Vesa just because she can, I guess, sustain the team a little bit. But with her, you already have some of that. I wouldn't go with Mach, man. Doesn't seem like a good pick. Vulcan could work. He's really strong even without all the stuff Aspen needs or that Machman needs as well. The heroes I would stay away from are um, as your next transcendence hero, Arcea. Uh, obviously, you already have her. Asmodel, honestly, um, he's a really good hero. And if you get a really good copy on him, he could work for a lot of um, board campaign if you get like an 8 copy on him. Which they're really cheap. They're like five thousand um, starry gems, and if you get those off the black market, that's like what sixty dollars for an A minus Asmodel, and you just like high power a bunch of. I think holy damage would be the best, or really crit damage could work on him, or it probably does work better since that's what he's been taking for like so long. And then you can put a, like a melodic strings that you already have on him, and he could just like defeat waves really easily by one-shotting them or getting them super low jara i would stay away from her um that's so we already talked about her eos is more like a tenant for dtv stay away from him he's kind of pvp um Freya. if you want to use her just as a um support character not as the main homeowner honestly i would uh, see that as a win Machman, mm, nah, uh, he's horrible. RNA, I haven't seen too much of her. A lot of my team or some of my teammates have her with like an A copy, and she's really strong. But that's because they're they're, they're doing something weird. I would stay away from her. Um, DTV, I'd highly recommend him. You are getting Elena. I mean, if you want, I don't really care, or I don't really care for him uh nope 
Doppelganger Natalia. I've seen a lot of good out of her, and I've seen her as uh, support and main homeowner. So, honestly, you could probably build her, and she'll probably do a bunch of a bunch of stuff. I've seen her as the second homeowner, and I'm pretty sure she's mainly for stunning heroes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've heard a lot of her stunning ability. I haven't really faced one yet. And I have one on my account, but she's still um, just regular E5. So, uh, probably do your own research on her. Uh, Gaggy, I haven't, I haven't even tested him. I haven't even seen him. So, probably stay away from him. That's probably a, a good choice. Uh, your Home Tom. I think that's his name. I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't seen that much of him. So... Uh, do your own research, like I said. Uh, look up videos of him. See if that's something you want for your account. But you're still quite a bit away from that. So you don't really got to worry about that too much. But I'd keep it in the back of my mind. So, yeah, that's kind of what I would do if I was in your situation. Obviously, you might spend more and then it wouldn't really matter. You'd probably end up with a good, really good team anyways. But, yeah, that's um, my advice. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want an account review or an account tune-up or something like that, make sure to DM me on Discord or leave a comment down below. I'll give you my Discord personally. Or it's in the uh, description down below. It should be like the, I think, third thing that you'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment something down below. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.